I recently went through a process of setting up a LearnDash LMS for a WordPress website. In this post, I will share with you a few LearnDash plugins that I have chosen to add to get this training website going. LearnDash is an excellent WordPress LMS. Version 3.0 released in 2019 brought lots of new features requested by users. By now we are in uh, version 3.2, but there are still some things on my wishlist that haven't been added. Um, they are mainly in the area of enhancing site style, functionality, or improving courses management. And this is where plugins come to place. So in this post, I will show you several essential WordPress LearnDash plugins that will help you on various stages of web uh, course development. They will enable you to complete your projects efficiently and allow greater customization of your online training website. All the links will be either in the description below or in the notes on the screen. And I'm not ranking these plugins, but rather presenting them in the order that I needed them when working on my projects. Okay, so let's see what's on that list. LearnDash Content Cloner. To duplicate course hierarchy. I don't like wasting time and one of the things that I usually check when I start working with the new system or uh, on a new project is whether the book import, cloning or migration is possible. So the content cloner add-on makes it possible to clone the entire course with the click of a button, including all associated content, uh, so lessons, topics and quizzes. You can duplicate course hierarchy and edit titles in book and after cloning the entire course the book title editor makes it easy for you to change the title of uh, each course, lesson, topic and quizzes, eliminating the need to visit each of them individually. So this plugin is a real time saver. Login Press to make beautiful login pages. Login Press will help you to customize your login page for WordPress and you can completely modify the look and feel of your login page and make it look like it's a part of your site layout. So for example, you can change the background, the menu icon or icons and all the error messages. You can change the size and the content of your login box and all of this will make learners think that uh, they are on a custom login page, not the WordPress login page. So one functionality that I particularly like here is the social login. It's a pro functionality, but definitely worth to consider. I think users often expect that the website gives such an option. Social login makes it super easy for people to register on your site and log in just within one click with their social media account. It even automatically creates an avatar pulling from a user's profile photo from that social network. So login press is free, but you need to pay for some upgrades. So definitely check it out. And can you learn Dash Toolkit uh, to give you tons of additional options. The Uncanny Learn Dash Toolkit is really popular. When I came across this plugin for the first time and installed it to test it, the best thing was that it gave me really good few ideas of what are other functionalities I might need or I might like. So it's a free plugin with selection of several functionalities that can be activated for free on your site. And examples of free enhancements include enabling a login form, login redirect, resuming courses, and the full list of all these features is on the plugin site and in the uncanny plugin menu section on your WordPress dashboard. So you can find many of these unique individual features as separate add-ons in the WordPress repository, but what is really, really cool about this Uncanny plugin is that you have all of them added to your e-learning site with only one plugin. So one installation, lots of functionalities. So again, real time saver. Course Grid add-on to enhance the visual experience of your website visitors. In the past, I was not happy with this basic display that LearnDash gave, and I wanted the course to be displayed in a more visually appealing way. And the Course Grid add-on is a native LearnDash plugin that was designed to create this responsive course library that can be inserted on any page or post of your site and brings a bit more visual appeal. So you can choose to display your courses in one, two, four, I think up to 12 columns, and the courses can be displayed with their featured image, uh, with the short custom description or even use a video instead of the featured image. So I used it in the past, but recently I came across some WordPress themes that had this enhanced grid functionality built in. So I think really depending on the theme you use, you might need it or not. And also if you go for paid version of Uncanny Toolkit, you'll get the greed option uh, as a part of the upgrade. Uh, and just one other last thing, I have checked a second ago and the course grid was not updated for the last seven months, which seems quite a long time. So maybe just be careful with this one. 
Design Upgrade. The Design Upgrade for LearnDash has a free version and you can also upgrade to a Pro. I used it in the past, but in this case, again, I do not seem to be able to see any significant change after activating it. It might depend on the theme you're using and mine is actually quite powerful. So perhaps most of the things that the free version of the design upgrade offers, my theme already has it. Apparently it has really great paid version with over 100 additional functionalities, but I haven't tried this one yet. So what it does or really what it should help with, the premise was that it redesigns some aspects of LearnDash. So uh, it resembles the existing WordPress theme. And in my example here, uh, because of the theme I used uh, is quite powerful, the free version does not really make any uh, huge difference. So I would say if you think you might need it, just try it, maybe it will help. Under construction, to have beautiful placeholders while you work on your site. So this plugin is not only for LearnDash, it's one of the plugins that I install as um, just one of the first plugins when I set up any WordPress website. And it can be described as really easy one page builder that allows you to create, install and configure beautiful maintenance mode pages, coming soon pages or landing pages or actually page that should be singular. There is a pro version, but the free version has plenty to offer and it's usually enough if you just need a simple under construction or coming soon page with links to your social media. Okay, so that's it for now. I know there are lots of other plugins out there uh, in the WordPress repository. Um, these are just some examples uh, of basic plugins I installed in my early days with this LearnDash project. If I missed any plugins that you could recommend or you would install as first, or if there are any new ones since this post was published, please let me know. Um, feel free to post the comment below the video or subscribe if you want to receive updates and see you next time.